one. Great. So this question is asking us to find, uh, it talks about two functions, f of x and g of x, which are supposed to be shown, but I guess they didn't come through on the website. So I just graphed them here. Here's f of x equals x squared minus three, the blue function. And the red one is g of x, it's negative x squared plus two. And what the question is asking is how to modify the graphs of f of x and g of x to graph the solution to the following system of inequalities. So the system of inequalities, the solution to a system of inequalities, these two inequalities means points that are where, where both the top inequality is true and the bottom inequality is true. Let's think about the top inequality first. Y is less than or equal to X squared minus three. This is related to our function F of X. We're talking about points x and y such that y is less than x less than or equal to x squared minus three. So focusing on here's x squared minus three, what y points are less than points on the function? Well, they're points that are under the function. So if I color it in like this, we're talking about this blue colored area. Note that the inequality is saying y is less than or equal to. So we're talking about everything that's shaded, plus we're also including, in the case where y is actually, is actually equal to x squared minus three, we're including points that are on the curve f of x itself. So the curve plus this shaded hinterland of points that are under f of x. Um, it might not look like stuff here is under the function, but remember the function continues upwards infinitely. So everything in this shaded area is under some part of our blue function. All right. Um, now let's think about the second inequality. What, is, what does that look like? Um, so I'll get rid of this stuff. And let's think about y is greater than negative x squared plus two. Well, that greater than means it's greater than g of x, which is negative x squared plus two. So if we had g of x like this, then the points where y is greater than the value of negative x squared plus two are the points that lie above this curve. Notice that here it's not greater than or equal to, it's strictly greater than. So the solution to the second inequality does not include points that are actually on the curve. Now remember, what we, we've looked at each inequality separately, but we want the solution to this system of inequalities. So that means both inequalities together. Um, and the solution, the, the points that are, the, the, the points that obey both inequalities are these shaded areas. Um, I'll say that in more detail in a second, but remember, the first inequality is all the points on the blue function and beneath it. The second inequality is all the points above the red function. So the solution is the set of points that obey both inequalities. So it's everything that's shaded in kind of in purple off to the side here and off to the side here plus some of the border points. It, we're including all of the border points that are actually on f of x, but not the border points on g of x because the second inequality is strictly greater than. So this shaded stuff points in blue up to the intersection here, and but not including the points on the red dotted line. Great. Um, so...